I bet you that's his vehicle right there. If not, oh my God. this is Jazz Punk. What's good, y'all? Man, it's your boy Cozy Joe, and we are back now. Y'all probably noticed a whole new look. Probably looking mad old, very unkish. Maybe somebody's aunt with this bonnet on. But anyway, man, how y'all doing? I hope y'all been doing pretty well, bro. Y'all went crazy with that last video. I really appreciate all the love that y'all been giving so far, man. I really, I really do because I have so much fun recording games and posting it for y'all. So I appreciate the love. Make sure y'all keep that going, man. Anyway, y'all doing good? Y'all been blessed? I hope so because in today's video we're gonna be playing this game called the stalk i believe now i've been seeing this game run around everywhere on my youtube page and i have not watched not one video because i don't want to be spoiled so we're about to go ahead and tune in and see what this game all about so without further ado y'all hope y'all like and subscribe let's hop right into it all right boom we finally here like it took me three minutes for this game to load up wow all right here boom we're here i had to break up with liam i hope he takes it well i don't think so all right boom man let's see what this game all, all about you know, my PC throwing in an arm and a leg just to run this mug. It better. I'm gonna put about $2.99 on, on this game, man. It better, it better run. Broke nigga alert. alert. Broke nigga Is alert. I guess I'm like some lady that broke up with some dude. What was that? I need to make some food. I'm hungry. Okay. Dang, nigga. When was the last time you ate? Because you got a bag of chips sitting right there. You ain't gonna make no food. Let's go ahead and eat some chips. Can we eat some chips? Nope. I guess not. All right, so boom. This is this is a pretty nice, decent establishment. Hi, right, it's me again, Cozy Joe. Um, y'all probably confused and wondering what's really going on. Why why are we seeing this? Well, this is not a sponsor. I haven't got to that type of status just yet. But I'm here to tell you that um, an audio glitch has happened. Like 14 minutes worth of my video that y'all watching right now. A audio glitch has happened from this little mic for some reason i don't know how but it just glitched out everything um i was originally planning on to just go ahead and just scrap this whole entire thing but i'm like you know what bro i don't spent like an hour on this game and spent three dollars on this game you think i'm finna let it go but i'm about to go ahead and give y'all a rundown of what y'all really missed out for real as i'm cooking my ravioli and whatnot my um ex-husband or my ex-boyfriend or whatnot he went ahead and came to my door talking about some oh i love you and whatnot um i miss you can i come back inside i'm like no nigga go away i don't i don't want to be with you no more I'm like okay you're gonna regret this i swear anyway i went back boom chow down on my ravioli and i think what else happened oh yeah he went outside and patrick my home a whole rock through my window in my apartment with a, a letter tied to it I read it, he talking about some, oh, you're going to regret this, I swear, I love you so much, uh, yada, 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 you know, that, that Romeo and Juliet bullcrap, but on a whole darker level. I'm like, oh no, this nigga is very weird and whatnot, bro. So as I'm walking out of my room, the first playthrough, boom, he caught me, it, it, it about scared the crap out of me, or did it? I don't think he did, I don't think it really scared me, but you know, he caught me off guard, body chills. Then the second playthrough, I busted to a quick right. I ran all the way to my front door and ran out of my apartment. I hopped inside my car and I called my grandpappy. I don't know why I called my grandpappy, really. I, I feel like that, that's just way too obvious. Anyway, as I look to my left, I see Peyton Manning right there. I'm like, okay. I'm like, okay. I can see why you got that arm. Pedal to the middle about 70 miles out the city. Head to my grandpappy's house. As I'm heading to my, my grandpappy's house, I think my ex-husband is following me all the way from the city to my grandpappy's house, which like i said it's just pretty obvious like who who would it i was getting real paranoid about it but i was like okay maybe it's just some next door neighbors just trying to go home or something i whipped out my flashlight from my phone and yeah that's 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 really it after that the video should play normal for just some segments but y'all gonna see me again yapping again this won't be the only time you're gonna see me all right y'all cheers bro your grandpa really live in the middle of nowhere too, man. That was definitely Liam. He just he just gonna, you know, scope the scenery out. Listen, y'all, if y'all seen this this show on, on Netflix called You, you know how, how stalkers will work, bro. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. He said that's right up on the flower pot. Can I can I crouch? How do I crouch? Must be this one. Yep. 
Boom, got that key. Wow, it's dark in here. Let's turn on some lights and find the bedroom. I want to hit the bed as soon as possible. And we locking it. We need to find the bedroom. But first and foremost, we about to go ahead and turn on this light, bro. Niggas got us coming in this big old mansion with no light. This nigga don't got nothing to eat. What's up with these rich folks, man? You know what? I think I think I get it. I think I know. They got so much money, nigga. We don't need to cook. Let's go ahead and eat out somewhere. Roof Chris, anyone? But my granddad finna be. Nigga, that's my foot. I'm about to say, boy. But my grandpa be finna be mad leaving all these lights on. Nigga finna come back with a seven thousand dollar power bill. Bop. Turn that on. Turn off this this flashlight, man. We really don't really need it right now. All right, this got to be the bedroom. This has to be. It makes total complete sense for it to be the bedroom. Is it not? Yes, it is. Okay, great, great, great. Awesome. So as we visiting this Resident Evil, not really visiting, but exploring this Resident Evil estate, let's go ahead and check out the other rooms. Cause I mean, shoot, we already here. Nigga, one bedroom with a broken couch? Or is my computer this trash that the couch not even fully rendered through? All right, bro, let's go ahead and hop right in the bed, bro. As far as I can remember, she escaping from her ex-husband. She went to her grandpappy's house, which probably wasn't the best, brightest idea. It's 3.55. Wow, I slept that long? Wait, what time, what time did she even get there, bro? I'm assuming you had to get there around like midnight. Is grandpa home already? How do you know if your granddaddy is home? I don't see no car. All right, well, let's be respectable and close this door. Then again, I can't really talk about being respectable. I'm going to let the man lights on. Grandfather? Grandfather? Are you home, grandfather? Niggas not in the kitchen making no eggs. Shoot, bro. We don't even got the food for that. Grandpa Peroni is not here, but let's go ahead and open up the door. You know what? Probably on the most ultra best settings of graphics ever, bruh. This game probably looks beautiful. But since it's at the lowest of lows and still with a little bit of lag, it looks terrible, bro. Nintendo Switch Mortal Kombat X. Not X, but Mortal Kombat 1 type beats. Two hours later. Oh, man, I'm stupid, bruh. I've been running around this whole entire estate for five minutes. Nigga, there's mail. There's resident of this mansion. I'm the previous owner of this mansion, and you're the person I've been looking for. I hope to see you stick around for a while. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. I will be watching you. Nigga, I got too much fish on my plate already, bro. We got some random creep, and I got my creepy ass husband. All right, buddy. Watching me? This is the strangest thing to say, at least. I need to get going to the store. Wait, I, yeah, I need to get going to the store before it gets dark, though. Let's be careful. Nigga, your grammar is getting me twisted up, bro. I can't even read clearly myself. All right, so let's go ahead and lock the doors. At least we go into the store. All right, we got to get our priority straight. You know what I'm saying? Since grandpappy, he ain't, he ain't leave no food behind. Come on, but it's going to hop straight into this car, bro. Yeah, but like I said, man, it seemed like in almost every single indie horror game, bro, there's never a full fridge. Now, I don't know if they trying to be as realistic as possible, but bro, you got this big old house, brand new car, the newest iPhone in tech, no food. There's no food in, in the store, bro. Not in the store, but inside that fridge. What is that? Some kind of paper? I mean, it, it might be paper. You got some great eyes. Shoot, they got some tremendous eyes. Wow, it's creepy how similar she looks like me. That is you, let's be real. Actually, missing, missing since August. Is that August? I'm stupid. No way. August. August is the eighth. I'm right. August the fifteenth, two thousand thirteen. Please help us bring Ashley home. If you have any information, even the smallest detail, contact the police. Your assistance. Your assistance. I can't read, y'all. Could make the difference. This is horrible. I hope they found her, nigga. What year is this? Because if it's twenty twenty four, she's done. I hope finding her. If um, this is like a reward for ten thousand dollars. Press the tab to look at the shopping list. All right, so we need to get some canned food, snacks, soda, cereal, milk, and wine. All right. Okay. All right, nigga. 
Hey, real, real nigga. I ain't never seen nobody wave at me inside a... Why he turn around like that? Oh, hi there. Haven't seen you here before. Are you new? Yeah, I just moved in. Where do you live? Sure, nigga, about like 13 miles down north. You go ahead and make a left. You go about 15 miles right down south. And then you go ahead and turn right back around 15 miles back down south and go right back 13 miles back north to mind your own business. Because, nigga, that's just too much information, bro. You know, when people ever ask me that question, oh, yeah, where do you stay? Like, and I ain't talking about just county. I ain't talking about just county. Like, niggas, niggas be expecting you to give them out the whole address, right? I give them a lie. I, I, I'll, be, I'll be like this. I'll be like this. Well, really, I'm staying here as a vacation. You know, I'm not really from here. I always say that, bro. Because you never know, bro. You just never know. I don't feel comfortable telling you that. Are you alone? Um, I'm in a hurry. Sorry, I gotta go. Nigga, go back and you get your money, bro. Go focus on your money. Yes, yes. Good boy, good boy. Nigga, focus on me, man. Focus on that haircut. All right. So anyway, let me go to this shop. Canned food, snacks, soda, milk, cereal, and wine. Oh, nigga, we gotta we got get crunk before the night is over with. All right, that's respectable. All right. Hey, boom. The cereal, right? I probably gotta put up the list. Am I tripping? This is cereal. Two hours later. Oh, collect the items from top to bottom. Okay, so this is one of those types of games. You just gotta be very Pacific, huh? I said Pacific. Okay, all right. Let's go ahead and get some canned meatballs. Boom. Cop the snacks. Boom. Get the soda. Somebody just copped in. Yeah, that's right. Go ahead, nigga. Uh huh. Laugh your way all the way to the bank. Creep. I have. I, I. I ain't. God dang. <laughs> Holy smokes. You know, yo. I ain't talked about this in a very long time, but I remember a long time ago when I was playing Chillis Art. I will always talk about how I feel like being a woman is low key like creepy, bro. Because you gotta deal with weirdos like that. Now, maybe, hopefully, I don't know. I'm sure he probably means all good, right? But it's like, dude, you gotta watch out for niggas following you, stalking you, taking pictures of you, doing dirty sexual acts to you without you even knowing, bro. That's why I be I be telling my, my mom, man, even my old lady, you know, if you go anywhere by yourself bring a weapon please bring a weapon because these niggas out here be crazy bro H hello is that all yes all right the total is 22.50 Ooh, nigga that's terrific boy every time when i go to the store i can get the exact same stuff all that right there is gonna be totally like 50 dollars why does so why does that it's snacks that's not even real food by the way all that is snacks why does that total out to 50 dollars like the math don't make no sense thank you for shopping here also i can tell you're new to the area how long are you staying for why do you want to know nigga do your job no problem i'm not sure yet not too long i would assume all right have a good day and here are your groceries thanks you too all right great all right we got we got very nosy people over here dude still haven't even left his car i bet i bet you that's his vehicle right there if not Oh my gosh! You son of a gun! I'ma kill you, nigga! Is my camera in focus? Nigga scared the bejesus out of me, bro. Bejesus. He looked like my ex-husband. Pause. You know, a young, beautiful lady like you shouldn't be out alone like this. What do you want, nigga? I do have some wishes, but I think it's best they remain unspoken. What are you, what are you talking about, buddy? How, how do you know I'm beautiful? You just see me in like a split second. Yeah, he been taking pictures, y'all. He been taking pictures and stroking something. Be careful. Don't let me catch you alone. You know what? This nigga's a stand-up citizen. He probably chased women to make sure they get home safe. I don't need your warnings. Respect my space and stay away. Real talk, boy. Stand on business. All right. Like I said, bro, I know being a woman like out in public sometimes gotta be terrifying, dude. Cause you got like, bro, you got real life weirdos. Let's not forget the groceries in the car, nigga. How far? How far is the grocery store? Two hours. 
store the groceries in the fridge. Bro, you wanna know what's crazy though? I was thinking that's prop. All right, yep. That, that, that's probably your husband's friend. Mm-hmm. Gotta be. Gotta be like like your husband's unknown friend. Right, let's go ahead and stock up this nigga's storage, bro. Boom, boy, we about to be eating good. Great. Of course that will happen when there's creeps outside. Welcome home. This nigga, bro. You look beautiful in the store today. This the same dude? Alright, I need I need to change my, my voice. Can't wait to see you again. How about I call the cops? I feel like that we can't get in closer. Alright, yep, I'm going upstairs, bro. I'm soon there. Is he in Bro my com bro, my game lagging at the freak right, nigga. Hello, it is me once again, Cozy Joe. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! I'm probably like, yo, man, you need to check out your mic, bro. You need to fix this. Don't worry, man. I'm, I'm trying, bro. I'm trying. But anyway, so what basically happened from here, right? That weird dude from the store? Well, I think that Liam has hired him to watch me. Basically, make sure that I'm quote unquote safe safe okay but wait let me backtrack a little bit dog because i was getting this unknown number of this weird creep texting me weird cryptid messages and whatnot calling me beautiful talk about i'm watching you yada yada yeah you know all that weird stuff and then now add insult to injury liam's minion that was watching me outside so of course i'm terrified i'm creeped out i don't know what's going on so the best thing to do is to call the cops I called the cops, you know what I'm saying? Me and the cops we was chatting it up and whatnot. The cops were telling me, well, don't worry. We're gonna send somebody out there in the next 15 seconds. Since you were a white Caucasian female, we got you. We be out there in a the split second. In the other color, we might take two hours. I'm just kidding, y'all. Relax. So anyway, the cops came outside and went ahead and um apprehended the man, Leon's, not Leon's, Liam Stalker. Not Stalker, dang, my bad the minion that was watching me. So as Ashley or whatever the main character name was like, okay, everything is cool. Everything has calmed down. Let me go downstairs inside the basement and turn on the light. I went ahead and turned on the light. As I entered right back inside that house, I started getting real sweaty and very stinky. Went ahead and took a shower and then I heard a cha-ching. Somebody had took a picture of me, but me as the main character, I was like, okay, that's probably nothing. I'm probably tripping, tripping off the bean. Anyway, yada yada yada, 20 seconds later, I went upstairs inside my room so I can get some sleep. As I was sleeping, I had a nightmare of some weird knocking noise going on downstairs. I went downstairs, I opened up the door that was right next to the kitchen, and some weird, I guess, I don't know, Liam, some weird dude came out of nowhere and scared me. But luckily, it was just a nightmare. I woke up from that American Nightmare, no Cody Rose, and was contemplating, should I call Liam or not? So me, it was a, it was, it was like a little decision based type of thing. Yes or no, should I call Liam? Me wanting to make the main character all nice and independent and strong, I say, you no, know, you don't need to call Liam. And also I wanted to up the story. I wanted to up the juices. I love the drama. And yeah, that's basically it. So we're gonna, we gonna continue back to the video and y'all might even see me again. I'm sorry this is happening, y'all. No. No, of course not. What am I thinking? Let's put my mind on something else. But first, let's make sure that the house is empty. I still don't feel safe. Bro, nah. What she call Liam? Is she hear the phone ringing? Mmm. Mmm. Maybe I should have done that. I swear, ain't your, ain't your grandpappy just say call if there's any problems? You know what she did? She did not call. Something looks off about that book. I'm about to say, what if Liam's sleeping right there, though? Nigga, what? 
Oh, oh, nah, bro. Your, your grandpappy's a freaky frog. You a freaky ass nigga. That nigga's a freakazoid. He got himself a sex dungeon, bro. Malicious grandpappy. What's that? Is that a piece of meat? Nah, you wanna know what that probably is? Mm hmm. That sanctum hole. What? Nah, nah. That sanctum plug. See, I ain't gonna say them words on here. You know what I'm saying? You two gonna be like, yeah, strike that nigga down. 27 year old Ashley was reported missing on August the 15th, 2013, by her. The grandpappy. Ooh, what if this is a family member? What if this is the husband of the missing person? By her husband. Two days ago, after she disappeared from her home, last seen in their residence, Ashley's sudden absence has raised suspicions. My bad, suspicions. With her husband emerging as prime person of interest in the ongoing investigations, while authorities continue to search for leads, they argue anyone with information to come forward and assist in the search of Ashley. Where was she last seen? Right at this house. Look, honey. We made the news pretty cool, right? And this on the 17th of August, y'all. I can't replace you, Ashley. There's no one that is as special as you. This on the 18th. She got that grip. That's all I gotta say. Concrete grip. Like, like clown balloon grip. Her loving must have been different. Okay, I'll shut up. My bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love y'all. Y'all doing good? Y'all in good relationships? Y'all not toxic? Do y'all love each other? Not only just physically, but emotionally? Make sure y'all do, okay? That's number one importance. Keep God in that relationship too, all right? Why did you force me to do this? I never wanted to harm you. My fault? How is it? Wait, wait, wait. My fault? How is it my fault? How is it my fault? I didn't want it to end like this. You left me with no other option. What the freak did I do? I'm not finna be on here cussing. How am I going to live without you? Nigga, you know we got text messages, bro. Just send an email, bro. Go ahead and send something on Cash App. Wait a minute, this is in 2013. Hey, go ahead and buy her a PlayStation and email her through there. What is the point of all this? I'm typing to a dead person. I will do anything to get you back. Oh yeah, buddy. Oh no, nigga. This nothing but the tip of the ice, boy. You delusional, bro. Dude, this was this. Wait a minute. This was ten years ago. Am I dreaming? I swear that is you. She looks just like you. Have you come back to me ten years later? So Liam wasn't even the bad guy after all of this. It's this guy. She is just as beautiful as you were. She has, she has to become mine. She will, no matter what. I can't let her run away from me like you once did. Oh no, nigga. There ain't nothing but a tip of the iceberg. Why would you want to leave me? I have done nothing but to be good to you. Whatever, it doesn't matter anymore. You are never leaving me again now. It's probably about time I talk to Grandpa about what's going on here. This... What if that wasn't even the right address? What if that's not the right house? Holy smokes. Grandpa, are you there? Hold on, I made her sound like a grown man. Then again, I'm over here talking as her in my manly voice. Yes, has something happened? A lot has been happening. I've received creepy letters and been followed by someone I don't think is Liam. I called the police and they are they arrested a suspicious individual lurking around the house. But when I thought it was all over, I found a strange hidden room in your house that contains some psychotic things to say the least. What? This is insane! Maybe the police arrested the guy leaving the letters in a hidden room? I lived there for 10 years and never seen that. I'll be cutting this business trip short and coming home ASAP. I cannot stand to be able. Wait, God dang, nigga, can you read, bro? Come on now, cozy Joe. I cannot stand not being able to help you. I like to think that they arrested him, but what if they didn't? What if he's still out there? What if they arrested someone who got set up? It makes me so uneasy just thinking about it. What do you remember about the person you bought this place from? 
That could definitely be the case. I remember his wife had recently gone missing without a trace. It was the talk of the town for quite a while. And his name was... And you ain't charge your phone? You ain't bring no charger? Are you serious? My phone ran out of battery and I didn't have time to bring... It took you that long to notice that you couldn't, while you was at the store, you couldn't get a little charger. You don't leave any portable chargers in your car. See, that's, that's very important. Let's go find a flashlight in case I need one later. I think I remember seeing one in the basement. Can I go down here? Could that look like the basement? All right, it's locked. Wait, wait, wait. Let me check through the peephole. Alright. Oh my gosh, nigga. Why does why why does that bird sound like the predator, bro? Jeez Louise. Well, let me guess. Is he gonna teleport inside this house too? I should search for a weapon just in case. Let's start looking through Grandpa's office upstairs. I won't find any weapons outside, nigga. We know. Trust me. Let's let's lock this door. Don't you ever speak before locking the door. Don't you ever speak before. I didn't. I didn't even. I didn't even walk upstairs. I didn't even walk upstairs yet. He definitely ain't here. I'm closing this door. Me, your grandpappy big back. Come on, man. Where the gun at? Oh, wow. This nigga got no survival instincts. There's nothing of use in here. The fact that he's old. And there's no weapon. That has to be grandpa, right? He ain't that close. You're like a little kid, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got, you got, you got the brain cells of like a seven-year-old. Watch, it's about to pop out. Yup, told you, I told you, I told you, something is about to pop out. Hi, sorry I scared you. I just come to clean about something. Of course you did, you creepy. Wait, dang, okay. Of course you did. You are the creep that talked to me early outside the convenience store. What do you want to clean about? I know it was creepy, but it wasn't my idea. Leon told me to do it in hopes that you would take him back. Make him feel safe again. I was supposed to take a step further now, but I couldn't do it. I feel sorry for you too. It all makes sense. It all makes a lot of sense now. Thank you for telling me. I still don't feel safe around you. Can you please now leave? I'm really like terrible at reading this script, bros. Yes, of course. I'm sorry again. I told you. What did I tell you, boy? And it took him two hours for him to leave? See, man, what did I tell you, bro? What did I tell you, bro? I told you, bro. I told you, bro. I say, Leon, Le Liam knows. Really? It's night already? I'm saying. Go to bed. Wait, wait a minute now, Nick. We need it. We need to make sure that these doors lock. Matter of fact, bro. Bump that, Nick. Not even just the door. Let's check out the sex dungeon. Is that locked? It's locked, but I'm pretty sure that's just waiting coming in though. So we're just gonna close this door. Even though I can't lock it. Oh crap. D did that come from the bedroom door? Like zoinks! How about we not open up the door, hmm? Let's be let's be smart about this. And there's really nowhere else for me to hide. Hold up, wait a minute now. Nope. What if I just turn off the light? Nope. 
Uh, oh snap, the nigga's inside the house. He's inside the house. He's inside the house. Obviously. He probably, yep, through that, through that basement. Just through that basement. You thought this was over? You feel helpless now, don't you? Your car doesn't work. Your phone is dead. The police think they got the person behind this. And you don't know where I am. There's nothing that can stop me anymore. What did I do? I know. If I follow down the other path, I saw when I first got here, maybe I can find some neighbors that can help me. <coughs> Brother, what other path, okay? I don't know what you're talking about, twin. We turn around. Okay, boom. We straight. We good. Whose car is that? car that liam's car that's definitely liam's car okay okay so liam is clearly the culprit bro probably probably staying out in this shack too oh wait a minute hold up where does this path keep going now nah, this is crazy bro because my suspicions are high now nah, i'll see that door open bro Liam, 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 Nigga broke into my house and everything. What if Liam is a really good guy? What if he really wants me to be safe? Where's, where's this blood? What if he killed grandpappy? What if he killed grandpappy? Oh no, nigga, that's, that's Liam. Th that's Liam. What happened to you? Why would someone do this to you? She is mine. I like zoinks. Yep. The whole time Liam was the good guy. I sh I should have called, bro. And that's the basement. Yep. That's the basement to the house. And that's your dead lady. Bony. I. I think these are Ashley remains. What sick, twisted individual her husband is. I don't even want to know what he would do to me. Oh. Can we at least pick up that light and throw that nigga head? Watch that nigga doing jump right down here. Who in the freak? It's the cashier? Hey, I couldn't wait anymore. I need you now. My new Ashley. So it, it was you who has been sending me these letters? I know I look similar to you, to your, wait, 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 let's, let's, let's get, the, let's get the script right. So it was you who has been sending me the letters. I know I look similar to your ex-wife, but that doesn't mean I can replace her. I don't care how you look, it's more than enough. Come here, I've been waiting so long for this. No, I have to run before it's too late. All right, say less. You got caught, yeah, nigga. I know, bro. I'm gone. I'm out. He's a little out, out of shape, so I might can outrun him. La policia. La policia. Oh, hold on. Ain't no closer door. What? Hey, shoot that nigga. The police arrived on the scene just in time, thanks to Grandpa. He hurried back home after the abrupt ending to Kate's phone call with him. When he arrived home, he realized that Kate was nowhere to be seen. He got sinking gut feeling that the worst might have happened. He called the police instantly and they made it just in time. The relief Grandpa felt after the news was nothing else. What happened to everyone else involved? The man in the white van said that his reading for be outside Kate. God dang it, nigga. Can you read, bro? The man in the white van said that his reading, reasoning for being outside Kate's home was because he saw a stranger following her home from the store. All right, but that's still kind of weird, man. You could at least, you know what I'm saying, let me know. Of course, the police didn't believe him, but they saw no one else there. But when the news broke free about this, the police realized their mistake and that he had actually been telling the truth. He was relieved the same day. 
Liam's accomplice was never seen again after the incident. The psychopath who killed his ex-wife Ashley, Liam, and almost Kate ended up getting a life sentence in prison. Kate is doing her best to recover from the incident, but it's difficult. At night, she often hears those daunting knocks. Two hours later. Alright, so I went through the whole entire gameplay again, and we are going to call Liam. See what this nigga all about, bruh. Does he pick up? Well, there he go. He didn't pick up the phone. So guess what? Everything that just happened... Yeah, it's going to happen. Let's read this dialogue first. Maybe it's maybe it's for the best that he didn't answer. Let's put my mind on something else. Okay, yeah. I still don't feel safe. All right, well, y'all, there we go. We got our answer right there, bro. There's no extras. But all right, y'all, man, I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video, man. Um, this is a very story-driven type of game. It's not it's not bad. It's something slight. Um, Is it worth $3? No. It's definitely not worth three dollars. I can tell you that right now. Really should have been free. No offense to the creator. I feel like, you know, it just should have been free. Still a great game. I just feel like it should have been free. Other than that, man, I hope y'all like and subscribe, man. Y'all say sis, y'all say buddies, y'all say cozy. Keep God in your life. Cozy rolls out. Love, peace, and check your grace.